Okay guys, so here we are at our uh, screen capture and we're gonna be installing the uh, dashboard section of our Drobo. So this works for Windows and Mac. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop this CD in right there. And if you don't have the CD, uh, I believe there was a download on Drobo's uh, website also. So you can do it either way. So let's kind of get this going. And uh, we've got the disc in there. And guys, you know, I gotta tell you um, from what I know, this is a very easy process to set up. It's like your own little server here. It's really cool. But we're going to set up the uh, Drobo hardware, the dashboard, they call it. That's kind of your uh, command center for your Drobo. And uh, we'll get on to installing all the hardware and everything else. But as what happens with uh, most cool things, we need to install the software first. Okay, guys. So we're here we have our uh, Drobo uh, dashboard to install Drobo dashboard. Click on this icon. So we're going to click on the Drobo dashboard. Of course, we have our uh, installation box. Very familiar. We're going to continue. We're going to install it. Okay, we're going to agree to the licensing agreement. Of course. And then it's telling us it's going to take 34 megs of space. So we will agree to that, obviously. Really don't have too much of a choice in that. And it's asking me for my password. Put that in there. And continue installation. So it's preparing for install, configuring, writing the files. So far, installation pretty quick. And while we're waiting for that, guys, um, we'll get back to that page on the instructions. And it tells us... After installation, launch Drobo dashboard and leave it running while you complete the setup. So uh, pretty self-explanatory there actually. Okay, so the installation was successful. So uh, now we're gonna need to restart. So uh, we will talk to you guys later because we are going to restart the software or restart the computer. So we will be back. Okay guys, so as you can see, um, we've restarted the computer now. And uh, we have our uh, Drobo icon right here. This is Drobo dashboard. And we have our Drobo dashboard right up here. So it says ready for connection. So uh, what we're gonna do is, is as the book says, once you hook, uh, once you get that part going, you um, insert the drives and connect the Drobo to your computer. So we're gonna do that. And uh, we will open our hard drives. Okay, guys, so we've got the uh, Drobo hooked up, the um, drives inserted, we've got the Drobo plugged in, and we've got the uh, Firewire 800 hooked up. And the uh, Drobo dashboard popped up and asked us if we would like to format our hard drives, which we do. So you can format your hard drives in uh, two different formats. You can either format it in HFS Plus, uh, for Drobos that will be directly attached to a Mac or a Drobo share or FAT32 Drobos that will be directly attached to a Mac PC or Drobo share and note while providing the flexibility to attach Drobo to different operating systems FAT32 is uh, an ancient file system and uh, the file size and performance limitations for example if you format with FAT32 your highest volume size is going to be 2 terabytes where uh, as a as if you format with uh, HFS, your volume sizes will be up to 16 terabytes. So you can still share without using a uh, Drobo share when you use HFS formatting, okay? If uh, you have Mac or PC, there are file sharing uh, capabilities in those operating systems. So uh, you'll still be able to share between computers, but just keep in mind that your host machine will have to be continuously on. So for example, if you wanna share all this storage from your laptop, your desktop will still have to be on and running. So I'm gonna format it as HFS uh, because frankly, FAT32 is almost useless these days. So I'm going to hit continue. What size would you like the volumes to be? From one to 16 terabytes, you'll be able to store up to 16 terabytes of data on this volume. If you eventually need to store more data, uh, then an additional volume will need to be created. Uh, you should select a volume size that will be large enough to contain all your data for the foreseeable future. So I'm just gonna leave it at the default, guys, and leave it at 16 terabytes. 
what would you like to name your volume? So we're going to name volume one. Uh, well, it also says you have selected a maximum volume size of 16 terabytes and you have 3.1 terabytes available capacity. Therefore, a single volume will be created. So I'm going to call this Tom's Drobo. So uh, 3.1 of total capacity. Now keep in mind, we have three, we have four uh, terabytes of uh, hard drive space in here. We have four terabytes of hard drives. We have two one and a halfs, or actually we have five, but we have three and a three point one terabytes available because of the redundancy. So we're going to hit continue, press format to prepare your Drobo for use, and we're going to go format. And this format will may take approximately five minutes and will require a reboot of this Drobo. So we are going to be patient until this finishes the process. As that is doing that, guys, we can see the Drobo dashboard that'll show us the Drobo disk disk pack. It gives us the unallocated space of hard drive space, and it gives us free space. So right now, this doesn't mean a whole heck of a lot because we are formatting the drives right now, but you get an idea of what the dashboard is going to do. So it, as it tells us, you don't have any volumes on this Drobo. Click here to create a new volume. Uh, which we are doing right now. Okay, guys, so now uh, it was probably about just about five minutes. Uh, we've seen all our Drobo disk space has been formatted. As you can see here, our volume name is Tom's Drobo. It's a file system format. Use space is 1.89 gigabytes for the file system and for the system files. And maximum capacity is 16 terabytes. On the pie chart, you'll see we have 1.89 gigabytes of space used and 3.15 uh, terabytes of free space. Now, you may be saying, Tom, you put in five terabytes, okay, uh, two threes and, a, uh, and two ones. Why is it only 3.15? Okay. Well, guys, you're going to need space for the redundancy. So if a drive fails, okay, uh, all that data will be uh, distributed amongst the other drives. So, but we'll go that into that into the review. Okay, Drobo is healthy, has sufficient capacity, no action is required. You can add capacity by replacing an existing hard drive with a large drive of existing capacity. So show me how, and then it'll launch the uh, website, uh, Drobo website, to show you how. Okay, so there we go, guys. We've got used 1.8 gigabytes, free 3.15 terabytes, okay? So there's one and a half, three, four, five. So uh, we've got 3.15 terabytes available and uh, two terabytes that are uh, used for backup. We can go to tools, blank light, standby, format, reset, rename, Drobo, register, check for updates. So we're gonna check for updates. Okay, we have the latest version. So guys, that is the uh, Drobo uh, kind of installation of the Drobo software as well as your hard drives, formatting the hard drives and getting it up and running. And uh, I will get back with you in another video telling you all about uh, how Drobo works and my experience with it. So that's, that's the setup and uh, we'll be back with you. So guys, this is Tom from buymeaniphone.com. Hope that this uh, video was helpful to you. And uh, if you have any questions, shoot me an email. It's Tom Moshe at buymeaniphone.com. And uh, follow me on Twitter. It's twitter.com slash nerfsqueezer. Follow the site on Twitter too. It's twitter.com slash buymeaniphone. Uh, and if you have any questions, let me know. And uh, let me know what you think about this video. I think i am kind of been doing it in uh, two pieces. That way it's not all in one, one shot. So anyway, uh, guys, have a great day, and uh, we will see you in the next video.